about five minutes, okay? Hey, why are you following me? Get to work, huh? I'll scold! Now, can you please tell me where the sound engineer is? I don't uh, like this. Ah, Regina, he's coming, he's coming. He's stuck in traffic. <laughs> Did he forget his call time? We'll be taking it out of his pay. Well... We need to warn him. Okay, I'll do that. Ah! <sighs> Regina. I thought we were done, weren't we? Yes, we were. But we'd like to take a couple of still shots, if that's okay. Is that okay? Um, yes, of course. Please, help yourself. Thanks. Come on. Uh, Regina, mm -hmm. I'd like to ask you something. Will your daughter mm -hmm. be coming to support you tonight? Yes, of course she's coming tonight. That's she great. She comes to all my shows. Mm -hmm. That's great. You know, we have a section in our magazine called Family <sighs> Portrait, and we always make room for this sort of story. Are you interested? Great idea. Well, that's great. In that case, I'll see you soon, Regina. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Sergey. Osgold! Have you seen my phone? Well, we're all done. I didn't feel anything. You have a really good hand. <laughs> Thank you. But all the nurses here are really, really good, so... Oh, I don't think so. Take good care. Thank you. Yes, Mom? Milana, listen to me carefully. You really have to come to the show today. You're gonna be interviewed, photographed. This is really important for me. Mom, well, you know how I love all these social events and all, but... But then I get completely self-conscious on camera. Stop complaining. It's not gonna be that hard. Well, okay, I'll try. Change your clothes. Don't show up in your lab coat. It's embarrassing. Mom, don't worry. I'll put on something nice. You'll wear the black dress I gave you for New Year's, you remember? You got it? Got it, Mom. Bye. <sighs> Polina, hi. Hey. So, Garla Love from Ward 8 needs an IV in two hours. I prescribed shots for Zolotovia and Diachenko? Yes. Kaczynski is on a special diet. Please don't forget about that when it's time for dinner. I got it. I have experience. Why don't you just go home? I'll finish the medical reports first. And where's the procedure list? Uh... Here. Oh my gosh. What happened? Again, this intolerable old lady from Ward 5 is going to need an IV. So what? I'm telling you, Milana, her veins are like strings. She'll complain to the doctor about me again that I don't do infusions very well. Can you help me? If you don't stop being so lazy, you're never going to learn anything. <sighs> Please, Milana, I could get fired. Come on, do this for me. You can do this, come on. Fine. For the last time. Thank you. Okay, it's all over now. Thank you, sweetheart. I have a chocolate bar on the bedside table. Why don't you take it? Mrs. Petrovna, don't. Take it. You know you want it. I'm glad it was you with me and not that lazy girl. She doesn't know what she's doing. She pricked my hands, but <laughs> complains that the needles aren't sharp. Thanks for the chocolate. Milana. I'll go home soon. Could you come give me my shots at home? I mean, it's hard to go to the clinic. There's so many people. I think I can. Oh, that's wonderful. Give me your phone number. I'll put it in my contacts. We'll talk about it later. What do you say? Hey, Milana. Yes, Maria? Are you still here? Your shift's been over for a while. I just needed to see one more patient. You can't fool me. You're helping Paulina. Well, Maria Pavlovna... Maria what? Maria what? How many times did I tell you, you can't do other people's jobs? My God. And where on earth did someone like you come from? When I retire, I'll recommend you to take my place. Because I can rely on you. 
You're so talented and kind. All right, let's go. Be careful. I'm not a dog, you know. Sorry. Regina, what should I wear around my neck? Jewelry, collar, or fringe? You need to put on the collar, of course. That's right, sorry, I just forgot. I'm good. Oscold! Give me a minute. What's going on, huh? What's going on, Regina? Make sure that idiot doesn't screw up and actually puts on the collar. I'll put it on her with scotch tape. I need you to trust me. Huh? <laughs> Stop worrying, huh? That's easier said than done. Thank you. Please stop near the court. Oh. Uh, could you please hand it over? Thank you. And where's the actual passport? <sighs> Valentina, my dear, don't worry. Uh, we checked everything. Yeah. Well, I'm just so... What if they ask me about it? <sighs> when we get to the court, your lawyer will answer all the questions. All you need to do is stay calm. Okay. <sighs> what's going on? <sighs> Vidor? What's what's going on with you? What's wrong? <sighs> oh my god, somebody help him! Excuse me, what do you think you're it's doing? It's alright, I'm a nurse. Stop the bus! This man is sick! Look, I'm gonna be late getting to the train station. Stop the bus! Oh god, are you kidding me? He must Why be taken now? out of the bus. He's in cardiac arrest. Driver, stop the bus! Call the ambulance! It's a miracle. Thank you, sweetie. Uh, no problem. Get the stretcher. What do we have here? Uh, the man went into cardiac arrest. I did CPR and artificial respiration. Uh, Take him to hospital number two. It's the closest one. I'll call and tell my colleagues. No problem. Wait just oh. a moment. Aren't you going to go with him? They're doctors. They don't need me to take oh, care of sweetie, him. Oh, sweetie, no, this can't be happening. I oh. beg you, I beg you not to leave him alone. We're not related. I'm his uh. neighbor, you know? We're on our way to court for a hearing. This is my second court hearing, and he represents me. He's a lawyer. Although he's retired, this can't be happening. Please, you have to help me. Please, isn't there any... All right, fine. I'll go with him. Thank you very much. Take the briefcase. Oh, thanks again. You're in the right hands. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to work out. Guys, let's bring him. <laughs>
Well, you surprised everyone again. Everyone's excited about your collection. And you. And I am excited about you. Regina, that was just amazing. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm sure your daughter is very proud of you. By the way, where is she? Ah, oh, probably lost among the guests. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Of course. Now, can you tell me where she is? Well, what are you so worried about? I'm sure she'll be here soon. I hope at least this time. <sighs> Mom, I'm sorry for being late. There was an accident. Hello, Kitty. Good evening, Milana. Your patience, by chance, held you up? Murphy's Law, another accident. And you must be Milana Zaretskaya. <sighs> yes, Milana. Only I have another surname, Chuganova, my mother Zaretskaya. How interesting. Would you come with me for a moment? Uh... Milana, tell me, what are your feelings in regards to your mother's work? I'm... I'm very proud of her. Mom is an extraordinarily talented woman. Can you tell me what is it that you do? Is your profession also somehow connected with the fashion world? No, no, I work in the hospital. I'm a nurse. <laughs> oh, who would have thought? Mm -hmm. So yes. you give injections and administer enemas? Yes, and also bandages, compresses. And she does an amazing job. You can contact her if you ever need her. <laughs> Tanya, excuse me, please. I need to take this call. It's urgent. Mm. May I? Yes, of course, sweetheart. You can go now. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Hello, Tanya, what happened? Got it. Yes, of course, I'll be there soon. In half an hour. Well, I guess that concludes the interview for today. Thank you. Yes, and thank you. <sighs> Tell me, how could she show up dressed up like that? I asked her not to. She always does that. No? Why do you think that? I'm sure she didn't mean to. She's a regular person. You need to start accepting reality. She is convinced that being a nurse is her mission. Ah, mm -hmm. excuse me, her calling. And that's fine. And by the way, it's really hard to find a good nurse nowadays. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Really? How was your flight? It was okay. I'm a little tired. Mm. I'm really glad that you made it tonight. And so, when will you be free? I've really missed you a lot. Very soon. Uh, I'll greet the VIPs, and then I'm all yours. Hmm. Okay, now that's better. How did you do that to yourself? Two dogs were fighting on the subway platform. I had to pull them apart. Heavy rascals. Uh, oh, I really need to quit this damn job. No, you won't. You know you love your job. Anyway, there's no technicians like you anywhere. Aw, thank you. And what are you so happy about? Who's texting you? Come on, tell me. <laughs> oh, Milana. I met such a cool guy. <laughs> Someone better than Brad Pitt? Oh, come on, of course. His name's Dima. <laughs> <laughs> He's so charming. Although his dog has no manners. Does not obey anyone. But that's not a problem. I'll turn him into a good dog. I told Dima and we agreed to let me train him. I'm happy for you. <laughs> well, there's no one in my life right now. And I can't be looking at every patient as a prospective suitor. Come on, the sun will shine for you too, I'm sure. Oh, my back seems to be getting better. That's a nice feeling. Listen, wanna have some wine? Are you crazy after the shot I gave you? Ah, darn it. Well, give me some tea then. Boring. Come on. Get up. Tell me about your Dima. I uh, carefully put the kettle on. Here you go. This is the perfect ending to a difficult day. <sighs> to us, I love you. <sighs> mm. 
<laughs> I gotta take this. Of course. Hello. Kareel? Hey, did I wake you? No, no, I wasn't sleeping. The conference ended late, and I'm tired and exhausted. So I was just dozing off. Why aren't you asleep? It's after midnight there. Well, I was worried. Hey, how was your flight? You didn't even call me. Hmm. I'm sorry, it's just that I went straight to the hotel right after the airport, then I got busy with business, you Yeah, know. I understand. Listen, don't forget to pick up the, uh, biochemical analyzer. I'm gonna email you the address. <sighs> yes, I remember everything, I'll do it. Okay. Okay, Natasha, I'm sorry, my eyes are so heavy. Gotta get to bed, I'm sorry. Yes, of course. Have a good night. Have a good night. Aren't you tired of lying? I really am. <laughs> so maybe it's time. Or not. Or your wife doesn't care about all of these business trips. Oh, I think she doesn't really care anymore. She's always busy at home with her science. Looking for the aging gene that will change everything as we know it. <sighs> she wants to win a Nobel Prize. But you're right, though. Our son will soon be all grown up, starting his own life. And then there will be no reason for us in staying together. Well, then, I still don't understand what you're waiting for. Are you... ready to be my wife? I thought that you value your independence. Everything changes. Everything has its time. I want warmth, comfort. As they say, the simple things in life. So that means yes? So that means yes. Hey, Galia. Hey, Milena. Listen, there was a man from a minibus that was brought here yesterday. Ah, uh, Yagorov, an elderly man. He's still in the ICU. Do me a favor as a friend. Call me when he gets transferred to the ward. That's no problem. Thank you. Here is my number. Well done, well done. Good boy, you're getting better. Hello. Good afternoon. You're a little late. Simon! Ah. Tanya, forgive me, for God's sake. Are you... are you okay? It's okay, I'm fine. My shirt, on the other hand, is ruined. Let me make it up to you. Oh, yes, you will. But who will compensate me for the emotional distress? Your dog will make me an invalid. Even worse, a naked one at that. <laughs> then allow me to to make amends by taking you out to dinner, maybe. Are you free tomorrow evening, perhaps? Ooh. Well, you won't refuse us, will you? How can one say no to you? You're such a silly dog, you know that? Although a handsome one. Hi, Mom. Hi. Have you had dinner yet? What will you make? The fridge is empty. I'll make you a salad. Here, I bought your favorite pies with dried apricots. Have a snack. <sighs> Did you forget I'm on a diet? Mom, why do you drink so much coffee, especially in the evening? It's not good for your heart. And a troublesome daughter doesn't affect my heart. <sighs> Mom, tell me what's wrong now. Not only did you miss the show, but you were also late for the reception. I warned you. We were gonna be filmed and interviewed. I warned you. And you showed up. And what did you look like? Like you were one of the cleaning crew. I guess you did that to embarrass me, right? Mom, I didn't have time. A man had a heart attack in a minibus. I had to take care uh, of him. You have time for everyone except your mother. 
Mom, I'm sorry. Please understand, I didn't mean it. I couldn't leave a man alone to die. Mm-hmm. So without you, the world will just collapse. Mom, did you really get upset with me, or did something else happen? Isn't your behavior enough? And there are some other issues. <laughs> well, why don't you tell me about it? Mm. Kirill proposed to me. <laughs> Mom, that's great news. C congratulations, <laughs> in my opinion, Kirill is a very nice guy. But wait, Mom, didn't you tell me that he was married? No, he's getting divorced. Suddenly I just got scared. With him, I'm always cheerful. Dressed beautifully, when it's a special occasion. Oh, and when it's a regular day, it's different. You know, I'm far from perfect. By the way, listen to me when I sleep tonight and tell me if I'm snoring. <laughs> what are you <laughs> laughing at, you fool? Mom, why be mm. scared? You're the best. We should celebrate it, huh? Come on, I'll make something special like mm -hmm. salmon quiche. I would. Would you like that? And a Charlotte. Mm -hmm. I got so hungry with all this stress. No, Charlotte is too much. I already bought pies. Room. Can you hear me? Uh, hey! Hey, anybody! Help me, please! Uh, help! Oh, hello. You're trapped like a little bird. Y yes, and the emergency button's not no working. No need to panic. We'll do it ourselves. Wait! Come on. <sighs> Thank you very much. Not at all. Okay then. See you later. Good afternoon, Mrs. Patrol. Oh. <laughs> Hello, dear Milana. Hello. Mm, put your shoes there. I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh. I just got stuck in your elevator. <gasps> Thankfully, there was this guy who got me out of it. I have no idea how long I would have waited in there. They promised to install new elevators a long time ago, but they've done nothing. How are you feeling? I have a little heart pain today bothering me. So we're going to give you a shot and take care of it right away. <laughs> Come on. And afterward, we'll have a cup of tea. You can't leave without tea. <sighs> It's cozy in here. Yes, thanks to my deceased husband, Vanya. He was such a wealthy man. You see how he redecorated all this here? Now it's been a year and a half since I've been on my own. Well, no, I have a tenant, Vidya. Good guy, well-bred, kind, but a little too restless. Girls every day, <laughs> music, never any quiet time. And my health is weak. Well, would you like more tea? No, thanks. I have to get going now. Well, all right, then. 
I'll see you next week, my dear. Good afternoon. It's you. It's Vitya. And this is Milana, my nurse from the hospital. She gives me my shots. Well, I guess my work wasn't in vain then. <laughs> By the way, the elevator is working now. No thanks, I'd rather take the stairs. All right, ciao, little bird. Goodbye. Good luck, sweetheart. Hey, you snap out of it. Oh, I didn't notice you came in. What are you cooking? Mousse bouillabaisse. Hmm, that sounds good. And what's this? It's just soup with fresh seafood. Okay, there's too much salt. You in love? Mom, stop it. It's about time. The only thing that I hope is that it's not one of your patients. Ouch! Ah. Look, don't burn down my apartment with so much passion. I'm meeting with Kirill. Good luck. Tell him I say hi. All right. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, Vitya, I've told you I don't want guests in my home. Don't worry, Mrs. Petrovna. Angela is leaving right now. You gigolo. I have a weak heart, and you make it worse. Mrs. Petrovna, for the sake of your heart, I'm ready to make the ultimate sacrifice. Angela, get out now! <laughs> what a nutcase. I don't want you to leave. I don't want to either. I need time to resolve all these issues with my wife. Will there be any problems? Problems? Mm -hmm. There won't be any problems. I told you, there hasn't been anything between us for a while now. You don't know what a woman's pride can do. Pride? No. I think Natasha's... pride and any other feelings have long been reserved for science only. So? Well, I hope that's how it is. But why are you sad, Nothing. huh? <laughs> Don't be sad. We have a whole life ahead of us. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Mr. Ivanovich, hello. Oh, Milana, my savior. I'm so glad to see you. Very glad. Very glad, yes. I see you're smiling Happy already. You. <laughs> I am. If it weren't for you, I'd be standing in front of God, ready to confess my sins. Now, the most important thing to do is follow all the doctor's orders, and please be very careful. I agree. Though I'm almost 70 years old, I'm not ready to die yet. Not at all. <laughs> what a coincidence. That day, I had parked my car in a no-parking zone, and as luck would have it, the police had towed away my car. What if I was behind the wheel? That would have been so bad. I could have crashed and maybe died. So, in a way, I was lucky to be on the bus with you on it to save me. Oh, come on. No, you are my guardian angel. <laughs> I promise to always keep an eye on you. <laughs> Today, I just popped in for a moment to make sure everything is okay. So if you'll excuse me, I have to work. Yes, of course. I wish you the best of luck and I'll be waiting for you. Goodbye. Well, you got your shot, and I checked your blood pressure. Thank you, darling. I don't know what I would do without you. Let me pay you right now. Ah, oh, I completely forgot. I spent all my cash on sugar. I want to make jam. It's okay. You can pay me next time. No. Vitya did not pay me for last month. I'll go ask him right now. Vitya, open up. 
Yes? Hello, beautiful Mrs. Petrovna. When am I going to get my money? You promised me last week. I'm sorry, Mrs. Petrovna, but can you wait a couple of days, please? Well, you know, I have debts, a loan and other debts. I'll pay those first, and then I'll pay you. How am I going to pay Milana for the shots? Oh. Should I ask her to give them to me for free? Mrs. Petrovna, don't worry. You can pay me next time. No, no next time. Find some money. At least some of it. Milana, maybe I can sell you tickets to the club where I work. I mean, we're putting on a great event. <clears throat> There's going to be famous people, go-go dancers, phone parties. I don't know. I've never... I don't really like going to clubs. What is this, Go-Go? You'll come and find out. Hmm? You won't regret it. <sighs> Thank you. Well then, I'll see you next week, okay? Tanya, uh, can we schedule some more time? Well, of course, I'll pay you. Um, well, I can't today. I have an appointment to get to. Uh, but in general, I don't see why not. Why don't you call me tomorrow and we can try to work something out? Perfect. I'll talk to you later then. Bye. Goodbye. All men are bastards. What happened? You have anything to drink? Imagine, he didn't show up. He didn't call. He didn't even let me know. And did you try to call him yourself? Well, what do you think? Of course I called him. His phone was turned off. <sighs> What's wrong with me? Tanya, there's nothing wrong with you. Don't be upset. There's nothing wrong with me. I wouldn't be alone. Oh, wow. I have huge circles around my eyes. Ugh, I can't even look at myself. Why are you so mysterious? Hmm? You look really pretty today. <laughs> Tell me, did something happen? No, just... Just some guy I met. Mm, stop. I need specific details. So, and did he ask you out on the date? No, not yet. But he gave me two tickets to a party at the club where he works. It's some event with artists oh. and stuff. But I'm not gonna go. Oh, come on. Why don't you want to go? Because it's a place for losers. It's noisy and... Tanya, I've never been to a club before. Come on out, show me the tickets. I think it's about time you start going to clubs. I'll go with you, I'll look after you, don't worry. Oh my gosh. You can't even get into this club without having a personal invitation. Okay, we're not discussing it anymore. We're totally going. Tanya. That's it. Milana, just do this for me. I had such a stressful day today. I need to relax, so come on, let's go, get up. We have to find some cute clothes to wear. Come on, relax. Thank you. So? Hey, where's this Vitya? On stage. Oh, wow. He is so hot. I didn't expect you to be so adventurous. You're going out with a stripper. I didn't know this is what he did. Is he going to take everything off? Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at these two cuties. Hey, girls. What are we going to drink? 
Nothing, thank you very much. And why are we so boring? Don't be like this. Just have a drink with us. Tony, let's get out of here. All men are best. Oh, Tanya. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Milana. Why, hello. It's so nice to see you here. Why are you leaving so early? You didn't like it? Yeah, we liked it a lot. Meet my friend, Tanya. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Well, we gotta go. Come on, I'll walk you. Thanks for the tickets. That was nice of you. Your performance was very beautiful. <laughs> and it's just temporary work, so I can save up some money. There's no future in this business. I want to become a real model. Well, you know, I think you won't have any problems. I mean, you have a, a very beautiful body. Really? Well, yeah. By the way, the day after tomorrow, I have a very important event with a famous designer. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. girls. I'm going to win her heart. And then finally I'll become... The one true king of the catwalk. <laughs> wow. Will our new collection be a weddings collection? Well, why not? I hope there will be happy changes in your future, Regina. <laughs> I hope so, too. Hey. Hey. Why are you so late? I... I had a call from the Department of Health. They needed an... an urgent consultation. Mm. I had to go to the hospital and it gets super busy. You know how it is. I see. Hey, are you hungry? Mmm, a little bit, yeah. Sorry, I didn't have time to go to the store. I think there was some cheese left in the refrigerator. That's my luck. Mm. Or you can cook some dumplings if you want. <clears throat> oh, no, we ate those yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm. And there's no cheese either. <sighs> we ran out of coffee, too. I don't have time for anything with this paper. Imagine, Kuleshov just told me that I have to get this in by tomorrow. Ah. Uh. Where's Sasha? He's with his friends. They wanted to go bike riding, I think? Mm. Mm. Natasha, we really need to have a talk. Mm hmm. Natasha, listen. Yes? Uh. What? Oh my god. What's going on? Sasha. What is it? He was hit by a car. Yes, this is Sherbakov. Any injuries? <gasps> okay, uh, bring him to the hospital. I'll be there soon. Just bring him to me. Listen, how are you gonna operate on your own son? It's dangerous. You're not in the right frame of I mind. I know what state of mind I'm in. I need to be in that room. Please forgive me. I'm upset. Well, can I at least stand by your side during the surgery, please? Let's go. Of course. Let's go. What's the pressure? Be stable. If 
clamp. Napkin. The bleeding is intensified. I can't see where it comes from. So let me do this. But... Otherwise he'll die. Surgical clamp. Scissors. Don't worry, everything is fine. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. That was really great work in there. No, no. Corel, come here. Come quickly. Mom, why did you wake up so early? I couldn't sleep. Smoking in the morning? Stop being annoying. Is everything okay at work? Crazy as always. And what about Kirill? Has he called? Why don't you call him? Mom, don't worry. Maybe he had some urgent business. You never know. I have to go now. Gina. How is he? Still no change. Today is the second day. I don't understand. The surgery went so smoothly. Why is this happening to our son? Why is this happening? Natasha. Try to calm down. Please do. I don't like this at all. So, I've looked at the medical records. Here they are, and... As you can see, in the 8th Ward... There's a new patient. His name is Maxim, and it seems he attempted suicide. So be careful with him. And how old is he? Twenty. It breaks my heart. What's he doing here? This isn't a psych ward. He overdosed with medications he was prescribed. He has a stomach ulcer. <laughs> Romeo the fool. You can't fool me. You're no Julia yourself. <sighs> okay, girls. Enough talking. Time to get to work. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to you, dear. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, Milana. Why aren't you a little nicer? Can I hold your hand? Believe enough, you're being rude. Well, again, my whole day is ruined. Take it easy, man. Why do you insist on embarrassing our nurse? I'm just following my feelings. Mr. Ivanovich, they have a new medication for you. Take one an hour before supper. All right, dear. Jervlev? Uh, Jervlev, one before lunch and one before dinner, and now you have an EKG. I'm not doing anything. 
Maxime, everyone has dark moments in their lives. But they always pass. Trust me. Don't even try. They already tried to treat me with the life is beautiful and amazing stuff. floor there is this patient who had an accident that left her with a scar across her entire face. We treated her stomach, but there's nothing we can do about the scar. She needs to have plastic surgery. It's expensive. It might not even help. I think she's very scared. She's afraid that she'll be like this forever. <laughs> but once, once I started talking to her, she was able to smile. And why are you telling me all of this right now? It's just that all our problems are in our head. Everything is just what you make of it. <laughs> well, Maxime, let's go. They're waiting for us. Dr. Vadimovich? They need you in the operating room. It's urgent. What do you mean? What happened now? He's in cardiac arrest. Carol. Regina. You work day and night, nonstop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't do this. You have to take care of yourself. I looked at the fabrics. Here are some of the samples. Those all work for me. So just call the vendor and place an order. Good. I hope you didn't forget, my dear. You have a go-see today. Mm. Everybody's here, waiting for you. Fine, let them wait. Go, I'll be right there. Okay, okay. Turn around. Again. Now smile. Fix your teeth and come back. You can go now. Victoria has arrived. What does she want? She wants you to find a dress for her. Mm -hmm. She has an invitation from the mayor's office or some sort of important event. It doesn't matter what she wears. She won't look good in anything. Okay. We're done for today. Numbers three, four, and eight are hired. Thank you all. Regina, I'm sorry. I just wanted to say that I'm your biggest fan, and I know that if you give me just one small chance, I guarantee you, you won't regret it. Casting is over. Do you have a problem with your hearing? No, but... But is it so hard to give me a chance? Go back to the town you came from. Victoria, do you need help? No, I'm almost ready. Hold on. Attention, here I am. Yes! Ha 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 Yes, yes. <laughs> How do I look? I think I look amazing. Fresh. It suits you. What? But <laughs> I want to suggest something else to you. What? This <laughs> one. Oh my god, how boring. I understand you're visiting the Chivalry. Well, yes, he and Boris have some business together. Well, you have to be properly dressed for the event. Boris likes a low neck. Believe me, Boris will be the first to appreciate this. <laughs> Are you sure? Mm. Well, okay. Okay, I'll try it on. But I'll take this one anyway. <laughs> The owner of the apartment is my sister, yes. but I officially live there. So you need to have the following documents in your name. Good afternoon. Oh, you are a bright ray of sunshine, Milana. You came in 
You smiled and it got warmer. Mr. Ivanovich, yes? what are the exact documents that I need? My friend, I will definitely help you, but just not now. A little later, all right? Hmm. I can see no one gives you any relaxed time over here. They put you to work right away. Well, people always have questions for lawyers, so why not help them when I can? What do the doctors say? The doctors say that I need to have surgery. Otherwise, they say there are no guarantees. And what have you decided? I haven't decided on anything yet. I'm a widower. I live alone. Milana, my dear, who's going to look after me? My son lives in the States. It's very far away. But the operation is not tomorrow. Well, yeah. We'll figure something out. I I'll help you. I'll ask my friends. Everything is going to be fine. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Great job, everyone. We're all done for today. All right, bye. Simon! Hello. What are you doing here? Where's your owner? So where's your owner? Did something happen? Poor baby, you must be hungry. Okay, let's go home. I'll get you some food and figure something out. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, baby. Mrs. Petrovna, you need rest after your shot. And I have to go now. Lie down, lie down. You don't need to see me off. I'll close the door behind me. Mm. Well, I'll see you the day after tomorrow, then. That's right. Goodbye. Oh. Hello there, nurse. Hey, are you okay? Everything is ruined. I blew it. <sighs> that damn Zaretskaya. She didn't even look at my portfolio. She like basically kicked me out. Damn it. You were at a go see for Regina Zaretskaya? Well, yeah. She's pretty much the coolest designer ever. <sighs> but also so arrogant and full of herself. You know what? I think I can help you. You help me? Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. I can ask my mother to see you. To see your portfolio and all that. Mother? Hmm? No way. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Vadimovich? I brought your lunch to your office. Ah, uh, thank you, Nastya. Thank you. Natasha, go have lunch and I'll join you later. Natasha. Natasha. I don't want to. I can't eat anything. <sighs> Natasha. I don't know how long this will take. Nobody knows. But we need to be strong. For Sasha's sake. What if he... Sasha... What if he doesn't survive? Don't say that. He will recover. It's gonna be okay. How do you know? <clears throat> Regina. It's not urgent. I'll just call back later.
Hello? Neurosurgery Center? Can I talk to the doctor in charge? Dr. Vadimovich is busy. And when will he be free? Hard to say. He is a seriously ill patient now. How can I help you? How can you help me? Hello? Hello, Vitya. Yes? Listen, I've been thinking about you all night. I thought maybe we can go out somewhere. To a cafe or to the movies. Vijay, thank you. Yeah, but if you wanted to thank me, I, I haven't done anything for you yet. Damn, these high society girls play hard to get. I just wanted to talk to you for a while. You know, just hang out. Am I not good enough for you? Vijay, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. It's settled. I'll pick you up. What time are you free? Three o'clock. Oh, we have a meeting today with the doctor in charge. Come at five. I should be free by Sounds then. Sounds good. See you later. Bye. Oh. Milana, open your eyes. Forgive me, please. Crazy girl. <laughs> These women are crazy. They don't know what to do with their money. They get drunk and before you know it, they start dancing on the pole, looking for a thrill, and I make sure they don't fall. Unbelievable. Yes, you have a tough life. Yeah, you know, I'm getting really tired of doing this. It's not that often in life that you get to meet a genuine person. And that's something to cherish, don't you think? I guess so. <laughs> what kind of ice cream do you like? Um, vanilla in a waffle cup. Oh, wow, what a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. Yeah? <laughs> Good evening. Hello. Thank Two you. Two vanilla, please, in a waffle cup. Here you go. Here you go, all set. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I love ice cream. Oh, what do you have here? Where? <laughs> hey, Mom, why are you still up? You're not looking too good. Are you feeling okay? I'm tired. And why are you so cheerful? You were successful with your enemas, and all your patients are recovered? No, Mommy. I was on a date. Wow, that's progress. Who is he? I met a smart, handsome, and talented man. By the way, he's from your world. Such things do not happen in my world. He's a model. He was at your casting today, but you didn't even look at him. Mommy, please, you have to take a look at him. He's so very handsome. <laughs> no way. If I didn't look at him, then there was nothing interesting there. But, Mom... Milana! Listen to me. You shouldn't try and take care of men. They must do everything for themselves. All right. This conversation's over. I'm going to bed. Simon! Simon! How did you get here? Tanya, how did you find me? Hello. Well, if you search for something, you'll eventually find uh. it. Simon brought me here. <laughs> ah, so he ran to you. You clever boy. Well, to be honest, when I saw him alone, I immediately realized that something had happened. Well, so I called all the hospitals mm -hmm. in the city until... until I found you. <laughs> I was told that... You were stabbed, but they weren't allowed to say anything else. So what happened then? Well, some robbers snatched a purse from an old lady and were trying to get away, so I tried to stop them. And you weren't afraid? I didn't realize it. Everything was happening so fast. 
Wow, that was really brave, Dima. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, you don't have to worry. Simon will live with me for the time being. I don't know about that. Why not? There's nothing to know. He knew where to run to, right? <laughs> to the closest person, to his trainer. <laughs> so in the meantime, we are going to work together. So that he doesn't abandon his owner next no, time. No, he didn't abandon me. I was just taken away in an ambulance. Tanya, thank you so much. I was just afraid that my dog had gotten lost. <laughs> oh no, he knew where to go. <laughs> Dima, it's time to change your bandages. It's time for you to go back in, right? Yeah. Uh... Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> I got oh, this for you. you. <laughs> Come on, thank take you. it. Get better soon. Okay. Simon and I are leaving. Come on now, go with her. It's okay. <laughs> Tanya, thank you very much. Uh, by the way, you promised to have dinner with me. I remember that. <laughs> and as soon as I get home, I'll come for a visit. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> well, we should go now. Yeah, uh, goodbye then. Goodbye, Dima. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Come on. Our father. Oh Lord. If you are here. If you punish me. Please, I am begging you not to. Oh please, Lord. Make it so. Make it so that my son lives. I will make everything better. I promise to make things better. I beg you, please. Please make Sasha... Please make him come back to us. Come on, come on. Come on. Hmm. When are we going to see each other again? Or are you going to disappear like last time? Baby, we will see each other again. All right, you got to go. The old lady will be back soon. Why does he have eyes like a cow? Regina, you're asking me. Actually, you were the one who chose him. <sighs> do you know what we need to do? We need to start planning the new show. Regina, what are you anxious about? Is this our first show? You know perfectly well everything will get done on time. It always does. What's making you so nervous? What or whom? Are you done? How is it any of your business? I chose a man to work by my side in order to avoid all that female gossip. But you, 
You love to gossip. Okay, mm. I won't gossip anymore. I'll leave now. Come on, get to mm. work. Hello, Kirill. Hello. Where did you disappear to, sweetheart? I'm going crazy. We have to end this. I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. I need to see my son. But I've made a decision. I'm staying with my family. I'm sorry. Hush, Natasha, be gentle with him. Let him rest. Oh, I'm sorry, honey, I'm sorry. Well, the worst part is over now. You scared us so much, Sasha. It's okay. Everything's gonna be okay now. Oh, you must be so hungry. Do you want me to bring you some fried chicken tomorrow, just the way you like it? Natasha, what are you talking about? Soups and soft food only. Yes. Maybe a very soft baked apple. I'll bring you everything tomorrow. Anything you want, honey. Be strong, son. Sweetheart. Sasha. My baby boy. What the hell is this? Mom, he invited me out to dinner. Look at what I'm wearing. How do I look? I don't have words. How can you wear this scarf and this stupid necklace? Awful. Why do I have to have such a stupid daughter? You look like a horse with a saddle. You're my disgrace, you know that? Take this off immediately. <sighs> Stop crying. I'm sorry, okay? I... I was wrong. You know what? Tell me about your Romeo. What's he like? He is a very interesting person. Very handsome. I'm curious to see who you think is beautiful. And he's kind and smart. How many times have you seen him? One? Two? When do you have time to meet with him? Have a meeting with him and you'll see. You said you were curious. Mom, did something happen? No, I'm fine. You convinced me. I'll meet with your handsome man. Invite him.
stand up. Okay, so hold the pose. Yeah, good. Half turn. Hold the pose. Yeah, good. Half turn. Where is his hand? That Excellent. pose is boring. Fix the light. Regina, stop being so anxious. You know, everything will be at the highest level. Trust the profession. Stop. Stop. Yes, I said stop. And now listen to me. Here we do exactly what I say. And if I don't like something, you have to reshoot it. All right. Regina. This guy over here says he's Vitya. He says you know him. He looks familiar from the casting. I know. Come in. Good afternoon. Hi. So then, are you Milana's friend? I'm sorry, but I'm glad you recognized me. Take a seat and wait till I'm done. Thank you. Hello, little doves. What are you waiting for? Work, work. Do we have a stylist on site? Is everyone else asleep? Do I have to do everything myself? Andre, answer me. Why do you act like a middle-class sales assistant? This is hideous. He needs to be passionate and macho, so make him macho. Jora, Jora, show some energy. Why are you standing there like a statue? I will fire all of you. Come on. Okay, go now. No, no, that's not working. Stop! Shora, look at me. You are useless. And stupid. Get out of my sight. Me? You. Do you get what I'm after? I get it. Passionate and macho. Regina, but he's... Your job is to shoot. Shoot him. Excellent. You passed the audition. Andre? Andre! Take care of him, have him ready and on set in an hour. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. I won't disappoint you. I really mean it. <laughs> really? Well, I really hope so. Improve your vocabulary. Everyone who works for me must do everything absolutely perfectly. Yes, ma'am. I'll do my best, ma'am. <laughs> Who would have thought my daughter is good taste? <laughs> Hello. Hello, Tanya. You look like you've gained some weight, huh? <sighs> they take good care of you here. <laughs> <laughs> Please come in. Simon. You got here so quickly. Yeah, I took a taxi. It wouldn't be very convenient to take a bus with the dog in the bag. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Thank you, Tanya. Oh no, it's nothing. It is everything. I don't know what I would have done without you. You sheltered my dog, took care of me. Now as an honest person, I have to marry you. <laughs> well, no one is forcing you to do that. You have to decide for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, your taxi must be waiting, I guess. The taxi, yeah. Here, uh, take the toys and leash and the collar as well. Mm hmm. Thank you. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Bye, Simon. Goodbye. Goodbye, Tanya.
Well, what is it then? Don't start. Just find me a trainer to learn how to talk to girls. Yeah, great. Excellent. So raise your hand a little higher. Yeah, turn your shoulder. Look, that's what we needed. Regina, are you happy? Well, it's different, don't you think? All of you should learn. Regina, there's a messenger with flowers for you, but he won't say who it's from. They're from me. Yellow roses. I believe that these are your favorite flowers. My favorite. You guessed it. No, I... I felt it. <laughs> Thank you. Gastroenterology. Uh, I will, of course. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Milana, an IV in Ward 8. I did it already. Well done. You managed to do everything. Wait, why are you working today? Uh, Polina is sick. Ah, well, well, I know her illness. After another night of partying, I suppose, she couldn't wake up. Dr. Pavlovna, don't say that. She really has a cold. She sounds totally nasal like some French person. You like to protect her. And think about it. If she wants something, she's not going to stop at anything. Come on. She's a good girl. Maybe just not very happy. <laughs> <laughs> and who can say that they're happy here? Maybe you're the only one who's happy. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say very, but I'm happy. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Please excuse me. Yes, Milana? Hey, Vitya. My colleague today got sick and I... Milana, speak up. I'm busy. I'm so sorry. So I have lots of work today. I'll be free after eight. Can we meet a little later? Well, maybe we can meet some other time then. I've been on my feet since 7 a.m. Will you be upset? No, I just really wanted to go to the movies. Me too, but what can we do? <laughs> Okay, I gotta get off the phone. I'll call you later. Bye. I'm really sorry. I had to take that call. Mm. Enough! That's enough for today. It's very stuffy. Today is crazy day. Tell me, Asgold, why are we out of mineral water? I'm gonna die of thirst. One moment, I'll be right back. <laughs> Look at me. I can't compete with youth. <laughs> Regina, mm. you know I don't need to be here. Mm -mm. Seriously, let me go work on the collection. You can do all this without me. Mm-mm. Here you go. I didn't know what kind of water you drink, so I took three different bottles. Pour me some. Here you go. I think I'll go get some milk. <laughs> Hey, Mom. Hello. Did you pick up my clothes from the dry cleaners? Yes, and put them in your closet. Uh, Mom? Hmm? 
Did the messenger come with the catalogs? He did come. I paid him. Mm. The catalogs are on the table already. Mom, I wanted to talk to you. I'm listening. What is it? The thing is that now that Vijay started working for you... And? We've been seeing very little of each other. And what do you mean by that? Could you maybe work him a little less? My dear, I want to remind you that, in fact, I granted your wish. Wasn't it your idea for me to hire him in the first place? Yes, and I'm mm -hmm. grateful to yes. you. And what do I get in return? Only complaints. Not true. It's all your fault. Mine? Of course. Of course, he wants to spend more time on set than with you. And this, darling, this is your biggest issue. You must learn how to be interesting to men. You know what? Make me some milk and honey. Just don't overheat it, I'll be upstairs. All right, Mom. That's it. We're home now. Wash your hands and sit at the table. We're having lunch now. I made borscht. Let me help you. No, I got it. Thanks. Oh, come on. With biscuits? With biscuits. Well, oh. thank God. I couldn't stand the hospital food any longer. Oh, it's not <laughs> like you ate it. Your mom kept bringing your favorites. She was trying hard. Mom, will you be cooking for us from now on? Honey, what do you mean? Mm. Well, you're usually busy with work and... I'm mm. not busy. Come on, eat. Mm. Delicious. Do you really like it? Mm. Mm. <sighs> yeah, hello? Yes, yes, hello? Yes. Thank you. I understand. Okay, I will. Yes, bye. So who was that phone call from? From work. God, I am so sick of your lying. Why are you talking to me like this? Do you even have to ask me that? Did you bring me the analyzer? What analyzer? Biochemical! I told you a hundred times. Was it that hard to remember? Or did you just not have time with all of your little conferences? Natasha, please, you're being ridiculous. Why don't the both of you just stop arguing? You didn't have enough time to figure out your relationship while I was in a coma? Uh, we're not arguing, honey. It's all right, son. We'll be right there. At least think of your son. You think he doesn't know about your business trips? Natasha. Don't worry, there will be no more business trips. Bozy! Wow, oh, my good boy. boy! Good well boy. Done. Here you go. Oh, well, there's certainly some more work to do, but overall, he's doing very good. Thank you, Tanya. If it were not for you, I, I don't know what we'd have done with boy. Oh, don't worry. He's making <laughs> such great progress. Well then, I'll see you next Friday. Goodbye. Yeah, thank you. Come on, Goodbye. stop barking. Come on, boy. Come over here. Come on, let's go. Simon, my good handsome boy. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> what about me? Oh, hello, Dima. Tanya. I acted like an idiot last time I saw you. Forgive me. Tanya, come over to my place tonight. Uh, I'll make you dinner. It's just that I'm a cook. It's what I do. Well, since you're a cook... 
So I'll see you later on? See you later then. All right. Uh, Simon. Let's go. All right then. See you later. Yeah, see you soon. Okay, this session is over. Well done. You were great. Thank you very much. Regina. Hmm? Victoria is here to see you. She's, uh, she's waiting outside. What? Victoria who? Your best friend. Uh, Victoria. When it rains, it pours. Damn her. She wants to discuss the details of her order and says mm. that you would know. She doesn't have any sense of time. Some of us are working all day and not spending our hours at the spa. What should I tell her? Send her to the office. So hey, there's a cool new Italian restaurant near my place. Call me. Yes, hello? Hey, Vidya. How are you doing? Okay. A little tired. Poor baby. I miss you. Very much. And I miss you. But honestly, I don't even know when we're going to be done today. But aren't you hungry? Very hungry, baby, but what can I do? Work is work. Of course I understand. And I can make something for you. Honey, sorry, I really gotta go. They're calling me. Big kiss? Big kiss. Well, when will it be ready? Well, you're a preferred customer for you in the shortest time. Thank you, my dear. You're not looking very well. Is there anything wrong? No, I'm absolutely fine. Oh, I understand. Lots of work and very little joy. I know all about it. What do you mean? There are rumors that Kirill has left you. <laughs> and where do those rumors come from? All over the place. <sighs> it's okay, Regina. You'll find someone who's better for you. <laughs> it's gossip. We're just fine. <sighs> In that case, I'm very happy for you. I guess I'll send the driver to pick up my things, if that's okay with you. I don't mind. Even the devil takes a day off. Regina, you are offended. Mm -mm. There is no fire without smoke. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello, Boris. I'm already on my way back. Regina looks great and sends her love. I'm on my way, sweetie pie. Wow. Soon. <laughs> Are you still here? Clearly. Coffee? Coffee, thank you. Is your scent really that strong? Maybe. What's that smell? I'll change it. If you can't choose the right cologne, it's best not to use any at all. <sighs> I agree. And that shirt... It's tacky.